Now, tomorrow, should you believe in Mayan calendars or doomsday scenarios or just hocus-pocus of any shade, it's the end of the world. For months, the predictions by the long-gone Central American civilization have been building up ahead of steam. Tens of thousands have now gathered at Mayan sites, hundreds more at quasi-religious locations around the world. So is the 21st of December 2012 really going to be the end of it? Here's our international editor, Lindsay Hilson. If the world's going to end tomorrow, probably just as well to appease the gods today. Tourists are flocking to Mexico and Guatemala, to sites where the ancient Maya lived and where their descendants are channeling the wisdom of their forebears. So we're hoping for a, some sort of a contact event and meet some, uh, meet some uh, beings of other species. And uh, we're basically hoping to just ask him for help. In the meantime, archaeologists keep trying to explain it's the end of an era, not of the world. The ancient Maya split time into periods of 400 years called Bactunes, and tomorrow is the end of a cycle of 13 Bactunes. Remember that the Maya viewed time in cycles and not as a linear progression as we do. Each cycle had a beginning and an end. An eco-farm in the Mexican jungle, a magnet for new ages. The idea is to live in harmony with all creatures and wait for the moment when photonic energy changes our DNA and we get back in touch with the Earth. It might not be a holocaust, it's not like we're thinking like this big meteorite is going to fall and it's like the end of, of, of civilization as we know it. It's not so much like that. I mean, it can happen, who knows? But it can happen anytime. 7,000 miles away in Moscow, a Cold War era bunker is being prepared. The enemy of the state has launched atomic missiles, says the voice. Maybe this time it'll be an asteroid. The plan is to have a party tonight and wait it out. Entry fee, $1,000. In China, hundreds of people from the almighty God cult have been arrested for distributing leaflets. Their crime? Not warning of the end of the world, but promoting war on the big red dragon, the Communist Party. Bougaha in the south of France is believed by New Ages to be the only safe place in the world, something to do with the shape of the mountain which overlooks the village. But today, TV crews and police outnumbered prophets of doom. Maybe if the world does end, it will be OK, because we have lots of police to protect us. Yeah, like, you know, so it'll be a very safe place, place, I think. <laughs> yeah. In Turkey, someone's opened a bar selling doomsday wine. Well, you've got to get through the apocalypse somehow. T.S. Eliot wrote, this is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. I'm sceptical, of course, but who knows? Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4.